Hello everyone, welcome to Game 8. Today we'll be talking about the new questline that was added in the 1.3 update. Nephili Luz and Kenneth Hyde's questlines have been extended, and finally features a conclusion to the Lord of Limgrave storyline. Before we begin, it is important to note that if you started Siluvis' questline, you must not give the potion to Nephili Luz. It is also preferred not to kill Gostok when you encounter him, since he will sell you some interesting items at the end of the quest. Nephililu is inside Stormville Castle in a room between the left side chamber and the secluded cell side of Grace. Players will first encounter Nephililu speaking over the body of a slain knight in Stormville well, Castle. Who do we have here? Tarnished, are you? She will then ask you to take her to the fight with Godric the Grafted. Her summoning sign should now be available outside of the boss room. Defeating Godric will allow Gostok, who you will remember as the NPC who talks to you on the main gate after defeating Margit, to spot in Godric's boss arena, and will be seen kicking Godric's corpse. After Godric is slain, Nephililu will appear next at the round table hold. You can find her standing opposite to the still silent Ensha. Speaking to her will reward you with the arsenal charm, and she will reveal information that Gideon Ofnir is her father. Nephili can next be found under the bridge of the village of Albinarix. This will be in the swamp beneath a large rock formation, so don't bother looking for a way up the massive cliff face. Speak to her in order to know more about her past and what she intends to do to those responsible for the village's fall. What do you make of it? If you spoke to Nephili prior to exploring the village, she will become available as a gold summon when you fight the village boss, Omen Killer. The oppression of the weak. Murder and pillage unchecked. A waking nightmare. Made by men. After your interaction with Nephili at the village of Albinarix, she will move to the round table hold. Talk to Nephili at the bottom of the staircase, next to Smithing Stone Hugh. Oh, then talk to Gideon Please. to tell you that he disowned Nephili Maybe. because she was doubting him. I know, but I... I need to think. Uh, you. What is it? Uh. To help alleviate Nephili's distress, players can give her the ashes of the Stormhawk King. This can be found by returning to the Chapel of Anticipation, using one of the four Belfries in Liernia. The teleporter can be activated by using an imbued sword key on the statues. One can be found on top of the four belfries. If you have used one of them on other portals, there are two more that can be found in Rai Lucaria and Salaya in Kaelid. The imbued sword key in Rai Lucaria can be found on a corpse on the rooftop of the academy.
The third one can be found in Talaya, town of sorcery, east of Caelid. You need to light the torches of the towers to unseal the treasure chest containing the imbued sword key. You will remember the Chapel of Anticipation as the first area of the game. You will have to fight the Grafted Sion if you haven't defeated it at the beginning of the game. After defeating the Sion, Go back to the chapel where you first woke up. At the right of the entrance, there will be a staircase that will lead you to the Stormhawk King key item. Go back to Round Table Hold and give her the Stormhawk King Ashes to proceed with the questline. Can no longer trust him, Father. To think he'd order his men to enact such tragedy. Where is the justice he purports in that? He once told me that if he became Elden Lord. Is that ash? I can smell the ancient storm in it. My thanks. I'll gladly take it. Look for Kenneth Hyde on the ruins north of Mistwood. When the Tarnished first speaks to Kenneth, he will ask you to clear out the forest to the south, past Mistwoods. After completing the task, he will present the Tarnished with a reward. Fort Hyde can be found to the southeast of Mistwood Ruins. Access it by riding over there, or fast traveling to the Fort Hyde west side of Grace.
Kill all the enemies guarding the fort to complete Kenneth Hyde's task. When you return to Kenneth Hyde's location, he will reward you with the Urge Steel Dagger. Additionally, he will ask the Tarnish to join his true order. Accept it to continue his quest. Did you manage to recapture my fort? Oh, excellent news. Just wonderful. And the knight's dead to boot. Well done, my friend. Well done indeed. I knew I was right to trust you. A fine accord, is it not? Very well, very well indeed. I knew. Go to Fort Hyde once more to talk to Kenneth, only for you to find that there are demi humans in the fort. It will be disheartened by the state of the fort and will now search for a new Lord of Limgrave. Be sure to exhaust all of Kenneth's dialogue before proceeding to the next part of the quest. Fast travel to the Godric the Grafted side of Grace and proceed to the throne room. You should find Nephili, Kenneth, and Gostok inside. It's been some time. I must thank Exhaust Nephilim's dialogue and you will receive an ancient dragon smithing stone as a reward. Talk to Candace to learn more about Nephili's current status as the Lady of Limgrave. Then you can talk to Gostok until he opens up a shop that sells one ancient dragon smithing stone for 20,000 roots.
Thanks for watching. If you found this quest guide useful, give this video a like. If you want to tune in for more guides on Elden Ring, subscribe to our channel. Will you be doing this quest to establish Nephili as the Lady of Limgrave? Let us know in the comments below. Till next time, my fellow Tarnished.